Hey guys, it's me, Zombie Joy TV, and today I'm back, and I'm really excited. And I have a video, a review, unboxing, review, and dry test on my new Traxxas Rustler that I just picked up from the hobby shop. So, let's get into this. All right, so guys, oops. the Rustler is a very popular RC car. It um, it's like the number one most high-rated um, stadium truck. So like for races and stuff. I also have might be able to see it over here. No, not really, but over there in that corner, I have a slash Mark J condition two-wheel drive. I did videos on that, as you know. So um, yeah, let's open this thing up. Oh, here we go. So, okay, so I opened it on this end. First thing you see is your transmitter. All you have to do is grab four batteries. In fact, I'm going to do that real quick. And you're ready. Don't need to unscrew anything. So then turn the transmitter on. Green light says it's on. And you'll end up having to set it. And one of my biggest pet peeves with RC cars is the steering trim. I don't know if this is with all RC cars, but definitely with Traxxas. Is. It drives me nuts trying to get the steering trim straight on my um, steering trim straight on my um, slash. But anyway, yeah, so I just gotta turn this thing over. Oh, the freshness. I smell the fresh tires. Such a great feeling, guys. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty good size. And then you have just another foam insert. So yeah, you can just throw that to the side. I always keep the box. I don't know why it helps. I also use uh, the boxes to help build tracks and stuff in my parents' room. Which might be where I'll have to do the drive test. Either there or outside. It's really cold outside, so I don't know. So let's get this bag open first real quick. Also, guys, when you have this, you'll have to kind of clean the foam pieces out. Or just drive it around and that'll... Ooh, these tires are nice, guys. I don't, I don't know if they have foam on the inside. kind of feels like it. kind of does it at the same time. So here's the stuff you get on the inside of the box. Same stuff as any other RC. You get the battery, which is like a car charger. Um, the charger I have is the best you want to get. I'll show you guys that. Uh, but you can keep these in case you're on a road trip or something, I guess, and you want to charge your car. I don't know. But um, oh, you know what? I'll be back in a second with the Ziploc bag. That's where I keep everything. Next up, we have. So, oh wait, no, I just, oh well, they're open now. But uh, I usually just keep these in the bag. It doesn't matter. I'll just open them up. Put them in. I'm gonna tie your bag. Uh, this right here helps the car make, uh, helps the car go faster. I'm actually looking forward to doing a drag race between this and my um, slash. So, to see which one goes faster. This one says 35 plus and the slash is 30 plus. But um, I don't know. We'll find out. So, yeah. Um, I, don't, I honestly don't know what these are. I don't know. Uh, oh, wow. Whoa. A lot more decals than the slash. Earlier today, in fact, um, I put some more decals on my slash because it was getting kind of scratched up. But this is, this is nice right here. I guess this goes on the back. I don't know, but um, yeah, so we have this stuff. I don't even think I need to put any more decals on I love the color that I got it in. So the decals, this, keep this, it explains the parts, I think. What is this? Oh, this is accessories you can buy. So then 
In case something goes wrong, don't take it back. They want you to uh, write your name and address and all that, and they'll let you know. They'll help you out. More stuff. This is the instruction manual. So, um, yeah. So we have everything. Just put it in the bag. I usually just keep everything. I'll, I'll be back real quick. Okay, so I just had to run and get a bag for the tools that I opened by accident. I'm just going to put this over here with my other accessories for my slash. Okay, so now, time for my favorite part. Time to get into the car. So yeah, take the body off. I'm surprised actually with this. <clears throat> Usually, where are the body pins? I don't even know. This is interesting. Okay, so you get this. Uh, next thing you want to do is take this off. What is this? It's just basically warnings. You know, be smart with the battery and all that. Don't need that. Uh, this, I'm not sure. This, this is uh, about the charger. You know, be smart with your charger. Don't burn your battery up. Oh, I cannot stop feeling the tires. This guy's honestly reminds me of like a smaller version of an E Revo. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. So I'm about to go over details. You know, I just got to find the body pins. This is actually kind of concerning me. So never mind, guys. Don't worry. Body pins are in the bag with some other stuff in it. So yeah, just take this stuff out. Spacer. Need four body pins. There we go. I'm just going to put those in there. You got to be smart because you only have four. But you can buy them separately. So, yeah. I'll just put this in here. Alright. So, yeah, that's one thing to know, guys. Body pins are in the bag separately, not with... Uh, they are not on the car like most are. Like, what I mean by that is most Traxxas cars... Whoops. Most Traxxas cars come with uh, the plastic on and, like, the body pin on the car. Whoa, this is an interesting design, actually. Oh, you only need three pins. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. You only need three. So they did give you an extra one. All right. That's good. Um, yeah, let's get into this real quick. So and you have two body pins here to hold this little piece down, which has the battery. Let me... What is wrong with this thing too? Okay, so the antenna is taped down. There we go. This piece goes over the antenna. Um, yeah, you basically like put it on like this. And you know, it goes down. Actually, you know what? I don't know if you need this. I I keep it if I were you. But I don't know. There's like no little spot. But maybe you put it here. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you put it here. So basically, just run it up. I always I would recommend using a little bit of tape. Okay, so that's that's kind of cool. How they did that. I would recommend using a little bit of tape. That always helps. So the battery right here is the same as like a slash or a stampede. It's just uh, slashes. The This part is down here because there's more space. But you can see that it's up here for this. Uh, easy set right here. The motor right here. Guys, this is such a nice car. I love the tires. This is so much grip back here. But then, what I don't understand, I actually kind of like this, but it's just kind of weird to me. The tires on the front are like the complete opposite. This is so grippy back here, and then it's just like not even close on the front. I like the wheel design. It looks kind of cool. No. So, yeah, I think I've gone over everything. I'm going to go charge the battery. You know, I can um, show you guys the type of charger I use. So guys, this is the type of charger I use, an AC-DC 80 by Common Sense RC. You need this for the Traxxas adapter.
so you can plug it into the side. This fits all Trax's batteries. So yeah, I'm gonna get this charged. It'll probably only take like an hour and a half, and then we can go do a drive test wherever. So I'll be back in a bit. So guys, I was looking. Well, the bat. I just started the battery charging like a minute ago, and so obviously I didn't notice this. Uh, first off, the steering trim or the steering pieces down here. So that's really neat that it's like protected and underneath. Um, also, with the antenna, you don't need any tape. It actually fits right there firmly. So you're not going to have to worry about losing this. I really like that piece comes under here and it goes like that. So yeah, I can't wait to drive this in a bit. So guys, one thing that I did in the pro probably like the past 20 minutes, I just put some extra decals on because it came with some. It came with a lot, actually. Uh, so yeah, so the battery's still charging. You can see in here. Uh... You know, I put some cool stuff on here. It's pretty cool. You know, I put some extra lights and stuff. So, yeah. I like what I did. So, guys, the battery just finished charging. And, yeah, it's time to go test this thing. So, put that. This doesn't look right. I guess it's right. I don't know. It wouldn't fit the other way. No, this is right. This is correct. Here we go. So body pins. Which way? You go like that. And right. Oops. Oh, okay, this one's straight. I really like how this thing uses um, three body pins, like I said. It's kind of cool. It's efficient. Okay. So now, all we got to do, oh, it's on this side. I forgot about that. So all, now all you got to do is turn this thing on. And... Now it's time for some RC fun. One thing that I did, guys, is I put a rustler sticker on the bottom of the transmitter. So, yeah, we're about to head outside. Whoa. That is fast. Guys, check this out. Now I see why this is like the number one best truck for stadium racing. Look at this. It has so much like... The tires are perfect. Like, you know, it's not too much slip and it's, you know, not too much grip to where you can't do anything. But like, look, it's like perfect. Look at the nice shiny wheels. I love that. Look at that, the drifting is just amazing. See, look, it's like... I'm about to take it to the track in the backyard. One thing before I do that, guys, this is really interesting. Look, you can go fast and like drift on like cement, watch. Whoa! Holy smokes, I did not expect it to do that. You got, I forgot you can do wheelies. Watch this. Watch. You ready? Whoa! <gasps> yeah! Basically, the way you do wheelies is you just, just jam the gas. Like, I have to get a wheelie bar for this. Now I understand. I mean, I like, I was thinking to myself when I looked up a wheelie bar, I'm like, they make one for a rustler? Why would you need one for a rustler? But now you can see why. Look at that, do you see that? It like, look at like skids on the cement. That's really interesting. Guys, this is amazing. No!
truck is awesome, guys. You should totally get this. Like I said, I'm not finished with this track. Tons of leaves on the track. I haven't done maintenance. Whoa. Guys, that is something my slash cannot do right there. Go over the thing. Watch. Watch it do it again. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah. Now I see why this thing is so popular. I like it. Wheelie time. Wheelie time. Yeah. That's a wheelie right there. Oh no. The one thing that I'm worried about with doing wheelies right now, because I don't have a wheelie bar, is let me show you. This part back here. I don't want to scrape it up or scrape the the motor up. I think. There we go. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. When I get a wheelie bar, I can just do permanent wheelies. So, guys, that is basically my review of the Traxxas Rustler XL5 Hawaiian Edition. Thank you for watching. I would highly recommend one of these. These things are awesome, all right? Um, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later in the next video. Guys, check this out. Yo. This thing is so awesome. Let's do it again. Like, that's literally like flying right there. Now I'm gonna try and do it over here. Whoa! I, uh, guys, I used to be able to do backflips over here with my arm, um, with my very first RC that I told you guys about. So we're, we're going to attempt that again. Oh. Go. Go. <laughs> All right. So I just came back here and I just had to show you guys that that was that was awesome. So um yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.